let's solve this trig equation. Notice I'm not verifying this identity, so I can work over the equal sign. I'm solving the equation. So to solve the equation, I'm first going to have to turn this into something relating to x, not 2x. And that's why we use our double angle identities. So sine 2x equals 2 sine x cosine x. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 sine x cosine x times sine x equals cosine x cosine x. Now these two are can come together. Now they're not terms, they're factors. So that means that I'm going to have sine squared x times cosine x, and I'm also going to subtract cosine x to put it over on the same side of the equation. Because whenever we have equations, we want to set them equal to zero so we can factor and use the zero product property, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to take a cosine x out. That will leave me with a 2 sine squared x minus 1 inside. Now I'm going to break this up into 2. Cosine x equals 0. And 2 sine squared x minus 1 equals 0. Which means sine squared x equals 1 half. Which means sine x equals plus or minus the square root of 1 half. Which is plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2, which should look familiar to you. And this one, so I'm going to change to green. Think of your unit circle. The cosine equals 0. That's the x-coordinate here, uh, up at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. By the way, the, they said solve it for x, is between, x between 0 and 2 pi, is what they probably said. Or if they didn't say that, you'd have to use more. Oh, no, that was for no, So my solution, let's say that they said that. We're good. Yeah, let's we're pretend good. like they said that. So this is x equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, because those are the two places on the unit circle you see that. And where does the sine equal plus or minus root 2 over 2? Remember, the sine is the uh, y-coordinate. So it's there, there, there. And there, so all of the pi over fours, because it's plus or minus. So it's one pi over four, three pi over four, five pi over four, and seven pi over four. So those are your six answers right there. And here's something you can do to check, and sometimes they want you to do this to check. If you plug both of these equations into your graphing calculator. You can see where those values intersect, and then those will be probably decimal approximations, but you can kind of check it that way. So maybe I'll show you that in a later video, but not now, because some people don't want to see that.